Hey, what's up guys? So the people at Sultanicals were nice enough to send me some products recently and I used two of them in the giveaway but I decided to use three for this bomb beautiful braid out and basically they sent me these three products, the Mango Dip Detangling Slip, the Kinky Silk Chest Milk and the Marula Muru Moisture Guru and I used them for a bomb braid out, okay? So they took my hair from looking dry and basically disgusting like this to that beautiful braid out that you guys saw at the beginning now this is the chest milk which i basically use as a leave-in there's the mango dip detangling slip which i use as a detangler of course and the marula muru moisture guru which i just use as a butter to braid up my hair now let's get started so I've already detangled the other sections, but I just basically wanted to show you guys how the Mango Dip Detangling Slip worked. Now, it doesn't have as much slip as I usually use for my detanglers, but it definitely worked and it was super moisturizing as a conditioner. And I just want to mention that all of Soul Tentacles products are basically completely natural. There's no ingredients that you can't pronounce. It's so much like seed oils, vegetable oil. I mean vegetable glycerin I'm sorry and just a bunch of things that are completely natural so I thought that was really cool and it did feel really moisturizing again now since I wasn't gonna be doing a wash and go I didn't bother finger detangling because I didn't really need that definition so I just went ahead and used my Denman brush I started at the ends of my hair and then I went all the way to the top and it detangled super easily I had no problem detangling so in that sense this detangler did really 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 work but if you really need a ton of slip to detangle your hair then it might not be the conditioner for you but other than that this was super moisturizing and it definitely worked as a detangler Okay, so as you can tell, my hair has a lot less definition when you brush it out with the Denman brush than when you finger detangle. So that's just a tip. Whenever you're doing a wash and go, make sure you finger detangle. Now basically, I'm just sectioning off my hair to make sure that my braids are even because I hate when I have like a tiny braid at the end because I didn't really section it off properly. So that's all I'm doing. And I'm basically just going to divide that back section in half and make two braids. And you'll see that in a second. But first, just make sure that your hair is super wet as you get ready to do this and I like to do my hair on I like to braid or twist out my hair on damp hair so it's not soaking wet actually but now I'm gonna get ready to apply the trust milk and I'm just using it as basically a leave-in so I'm just gonna put that on the entire section Okay, so now I have that leave-in in there and I'm just basically detangling this half and again all their products are super moisturizing that's one thing I found especially this this is my favorite product that they sent me and it's the rule the marula muru moisture guru and I basically just used that much per braid and it was so soft and you can really see my natural reaction right here I seriously love this stuff and it basically gave me a lot of definition as you can see in my end results so just go ahead and take that and then braid up your hair and I like to braid my braids super tight so that I get ultimate definition in my braid out so yep just watch me do that and I basically repeat these same steps throughout my entire head hunting Okay, so here's a look at the size of my braids, just in case you guys are wondering. And that's basically what it looked like. And now I'm just going to get ready to do the same exact thing. Use the Tress Milk as my leave-in conditioner. And then I'm going to use my Marula Muru Moisture Guru to braid up my hair.
now just a quick tip when you get to the end of the braid make sure you coil it around your fingers like this to make sure that you get that curl definition at the end and then just like I did there squeeze out the extra product I always do that first it helps to dry your hair faster and you don't have so much product buildup and this is how my hair looked like when it was all braided up now I like to tie down the edges of my hair overnight just so that they're nice and flat without using any gel. And now let's get ready for the takedown. So yeah, here we are. This is what my braids look like dry. They're a little bit shrunken, but that's perfectly fine. So you can go ahead and take that tie off. And basically all I did was apply some coconut oil to my fingers as usually. And then I'm going to go ahead and take these down and fluff them up. Now the only reason I'm using a blow dryer here is because my hair was a little bit damp at the center of the braid and that's all I'm blow drying. I'm not trying to stretch my hair or anything but I do think that blow drying helps give me a little extra fluff without trying so much. So that is just one thing but I usually never use a blow dryer. So here I'm just applying some more coconut oil to my fingers and basically separating the braids and fluffing them out. Hunty, don't forget to use your pick and yeah, basically just fluff and separate until you get your desired look. So yeah, I obviously love the results of my braid out using these Sultanicals products. I hadn't done a braid out or twist out in a really long time so this was a really nice change from the wash and go and it basically inspired me to try a lot more styles. I know you guys are probably getting tired of the wash and go and I actually just took out my weave so please keep a lookout for more style tutorials because they are coming girl. I have a lot of ideas. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Peace.